All right, guys, welcome to the Blueprint in Practice, episode seven, the video series where I explain or show exactly how I implement the Blueprint in real life. And if you're new here, if you're not aware, the Blueprint is probably one of the simplest approaches to fitness on the internet. It's the approach I've been following for five years at this point and how, how, how I build my physique, how I built a good level of strength and elite level cardiovascular fitness by only training about one hour a week, doing only three exercises, as well as having cooked down nut the nutritional side that can otherwise be very complicated to only three simple rules to follow. So if you're interested in that, then the blueprint is down below and it's free to read through if you like. All right, so I think I'll sort of stru begin structuring these videos a little differently than from the past. So instead of just jumping straight into it, I'm going to scheme out the chapters uh, and the different parts of the video here to begin with. So first, I'm going to explain training updates, nutritional updates, what's going on with the training, how I'm looking, etc., etc. And then I'm going to go into differing topics. And I've written down three topics so far. I might not get to all of them in the time this video takes, which will be about around 15 minutes, I think. Uh, but I have three topics max um, and the first one is I want to clarify what I talked about in the prior video in this series about overuse injuries and why exactly they happen. I don't think I sort of got to the bottom of the issue in that video but the point is that you will not get injured by doing chin-ups, push-ups and squats like doing the same movements for years on end. That's, that will not injure you and I'll explain why in that chapter. Chapter two will be my VO2 max results. So as you know, if you follow along my channel, you know that I've gotten my VO2 max tested this week. And the fact that I obtained an elite level VO2 max by just doing the training you see in the background. Number three chapter or topic is, is my take on science-based lifting. I've sort of been thinking about that. I think science-based lifting is mostly fine, but it quickly gets too nitpicky and there's especially one thing I have a problem with when it comes to science based lifting especially. But the training updates. So as you can see here, I'm about to do my first set and I will hit six repetitions. So if, if you're aware, we do chin ups, push ups and squats and we always use the chin up, the first set of the chin up or the first set of all the exercises, but especially the chin up as our like strength benchmark. So you train in the five to 15 rep range because that's neither too heavy nor too light. Uh, and it's great for building strength and hypertrophy. And then you just like add weight until you're somewhat in the lower range. So doing around five reps, I did six reps here. And then you just work your way up by training consistently over time and being in a bulk to doing 10 to 15 reps perhaps. I typically aim for around 10 and then I increase the amount of weight. And in that way, you're just gonna, gonna progress linearly in a, when you're in a bulk. And it just takes a long time. Man. And you just gotta be patient, really. <laughs> like, I've been stuck at six, six reps on the chin up now for two weeks, I think. And, but look, I'm just give, gonna give it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it two more t weeks before I even think about whether it's a plateau or not. And it probably isn't, and I'm probably going to hit seven reps sooner than expected. That might be today. I'm filming that the day after uh, this workout I did not doing the video. So I might hit seven reps today. Who knows? Yeah, so, so you just got to be patient with it, and it'll come at some point. You can definitely increase your strength faster if you were to solely focus on that, but then you would miss out on like the hypertrophy side the cardiovascular side as well. So how we train here in the blueprint is that we, we increase everything linearly at once, basically. But yeah, and the nutrition, I've just been eating some of the same meals as usual. So you have your typical meal here, some, some veggies, some eggs, some, some meat and some, some rice. And, and, and like, that's my breakfast and lunch, right? And then I have some different pictures here of dinners and they are also very similar. Like if you look at any food source, as I've explained many times by now, it's just the same sort of foods. Like it's some vegetables, like all, 
all good meals consist of some vegetables, some some sort of carbs, some bread, some rice, some pasta, whatever, and some some meat, like some protein source, pretty much. Like that might be fish, meat. It might also be some vegetarian protein source, right? But that's basically the structure of all meals. And then you just sort of wanna wanna eat until you're full mostly and then if you're bulking as i am in the moment i just eat a little more than than i usually do and you can sort of eyeball that pretty quickly and and that's sort of the approach and if you're, you're cutting so if you're trying to lose weight you just eat a little less but something i really recommend number one thing of of nutrition is probably to eat somewhat the same things like just that just keep it super simple for you and that's something i've greatly I had a lot of joy doing like so that you don't have to constantly fuck. It also makes it far easier to not not track your calories because you already sort of know what you're eating, right? Anyway, I think that's sort of the, the training and nutrition updates for now. And then I'm going to move into the topics. So number one topic, I want to clarify what I talked about in the last video about overuse injuries and why they really happen and it's a case of doing too much too intensely too early on it's not a case of you doing chin-ups push-ups or squat or any other movement for the rest of your lives like if you just go a couple hundred years back in time you would probably have been some sort of farmer farmers did the same movements over and over again like my father is a physiotherapist he's been doing the same movements with his hands for 30 40 years and he's not injured anything his body's a bit cranky but that's just that this comes with the age right so it's not a case of you doing the same movements for years on end that's not going to get you injured alone if you do these movements too intensely so you you go too hard you do them all day every day you do too much volume you just do them all the time right and you have no rest whatsoever you also do them when you're when you're when you're supposed to be sleeping, yes, then you will get injured. But it's not a case of, I mean, everything depends on how you define overuse. So overuse means that you use things too much. And that's not you doing the same movements over and over again. That's not a case of overusing. It's a case of, of being too intensely intense with it, right? And that's, you can sort of just throw the word overuse away and just say injuries. Like all injuries occur for the same reasons. It's because your body cannot handle the load you're training with. So that could be very heavy. That could be very light and you're just training all day. It doesn't really matter. That's what overuse means. It means that you're using your muscles too much for your recovery capacity. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. So you doing channels, push-ups, squats, for years, this has also been the case for me, obviously. I'm the best example of this, will not get you injured, okay? If you just do them in a, a capacity that you can recover from. That's also why I always recommend beginners to start out a little, to just train a little less frequently. You don't have to do less sets or anything. Just keep it simple. Just train a little less frequently. So train two to three times a week instead of four to five times a week as I'm doing. And then over the months, you can add, you can add, you know, then you train three times a week and then four times and then four to five times like I am. You don't want to go over that. That doesn't do much. Like increasing your volume just forever is not going to, it is going to give you better gains, but it's only slightly better. And, and then you're going to spend far, far more, more time training. And if you go too high, it's just going to be counterproductive because then you're training too much for you to recover right and then you increase your likelihood of overuse injuries you see what i'm saying so it's very important to keep that in mind so just train a little less frequently as a beginner as it advanced and then over time at at you know volume i suppose by doing more workouts a week and that way you will not run into overuse injuries i hope i clarified it a bit here number two my view two max sorry my view to max results. So if you follow along the channel, you know that I've been, I have made a separate video entirely where I talk about my experience getting my view to max tested. But I scored elite here. And this is by just doing what you see in the background, just doing like circuit training, which is a high interval interval training. So you, you have periods of intense cardiovascular, uh, you know, stimulus, 
that's when you do the exercises and then you rest for two minutes and that that's when your heart relaxes and then you do that three times get your heart rate up three times very intensely and, and that's apparently a very effective way of training cardio as you know hence why i got elite i scored elite on on these these view two max test which is just a it's the best measure of overall like cardiovascular fitness so your like your capacity to use oxygen in your body and that's extremely uh, tightly correlated with just overall health and like lifespan and and decreasing all course mortality and stuff like that so that's a bonus you get by training this way you get very very good cardiovascular fitness <laughs> which is a great thing and and yeah it's sort of like the same as sprinting so you sprint very intensely for a couple of minutes. That's sort of what we do when you work out here. And then you rest. Sprint, rest. Sprint, rest. Um, yeah. And I don't think I'll have time to talk about the third topic. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that for next week. But the physique check. And I definitely recommend you to get some proper lighting installed in your room because it's very fun to flex once you're done training. Like you can see the muscles very, very well compared to any other lighting. You want that overhead lighting. Looking pretty, pretty juicy. I gotta adjust the lighting here on my, my back flex because you can't really see, see everything properly. So yeah, I think that's the video. If you made it to this point, then you can subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next episode. You can also go and watch the previous episodes in this series if you're interested. And I would also really appreciate it if you liked the video. That helps with, with the algorithm and stuff. But the most important thing is honestly that I just make good enough videos for you to want to watch them. But, but a like would help on top of that. That's the, the icing on the cake. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and, and thank you for watching.